when a sudden, powerful storm pummeled Boyle Heights in October, one poorly placed mattress wreaked havoc on the neighborhood. Los Angeles officials say the mattress was blocking a catch basin, which subsequently caused flooding that damaged a basement and several vehicles. The incident has sparked additional interest in the city's El Nino preparation and has department heads mulling a new tactic to mitigate its effects. For the first time, they are considering suspending trash pickup. The changes in service would affect the parts of Los Angeles that are expected to be hammered with the heaviest rainfall and most severe flooding. But officials said decisions about halting pickup would not take place until 72 hours before a major storm or later possibly even during the storm itself. Forecasters believe the most hazardous downpours may not arrive until January or February. When residents put their trash bins on the curb, the containers sometimes block storm drains, leaving water to form puddles in low-lying areas or flow down the street. A relatively small amount of fast-moving water can also knock a trash bin over and carry the bin or its contents to another location, where it can clog the system and hasten flooding.